What's going on, YouTube? It's your girl here, Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. I'm so sorry for the long delay. This is my NACA video. I've been in the process since March 2022. I'm coming to the finish line, and that's what this presentation is going to be about. I'm going to walk you through the steps I've been taking giving you tips um, like I've done in my other videos and just showing you how I've been flowing through the process, hoping and praying that what I'm showing you will help you. I know these type of programs, they're, you know, a little bit scary or overwhelming. You don't know what to expect. That's why I started creating videos because I feel like I can help others. Sometimes we want to buy a home and we feel like it's so out of reach. But with this program, it's more in reach than you realize. It's about discipline. It's about following what your NACA counselor tells you. And it's about staying positive and, and staying the course because it's easy to get really discouraged and just kind of want to quit. But stick with it and you'll, you'll get your house. Okay, so I'm going to be flipping back and forth from um I'm on Zoom but I got uh, a presentation to do and huh, oh bear with me you all okay so I gotta share my screen crap I will get this okay and, and before I get started I need to say um it is five something in the morning that's how much I love you all I had to do this early in the morning because in the evening time I've been working really hard and I'm not able to do my videos. So if I'm stumbly, it's because I'm sleepy. I got some coffee right here with me, but I, I really want to help you all today. Okay, so this is the NACA website. So if you are interested, I would advise you to go, go sign up right now because I started in March with my workshop. You see it's August. This, if you want to buy a home, let's say by the top of January or, you know, in 2023, it would be good to attend the workshop. You know, it might maybe it'll be a spot open September, October. Go sign up now. That way you can get the ball in motion. Once you sign up, what's going to happen after your workshop, which is four hours long, allow four hours, it's going to go real fast. And it was 360 attendees when I did it in March. After that, you'll get, stay on, do not, excuse me, you all live by a highway and you can hear everything. Stay on the workshop. At the end, you will get a well number. This is going to be your a number that follows you everywhere you go throughout this NACA process. Um, so then stick with that, stick with the workshop until the end so you can get your number. Step two, you're going to end up with an appointment with your NACA counselor. This person is going to guide you all the way through the process. So don't get off the workshop early because they give it to you at the very end. After you do meet with your counselor on Zoom, there might be some in-person uh, meetings going on. I'm, I'm, I'll ask my counselor next time because she's in Chicago. I'm in the suburb of Chicago, but I know she was in her office. So it might be in-person depending on where you are. I'm sure it is. Then you want to fulfill the qualifications required for the NACA mortgage. So this is going to this is going to consist of several appointments. Step three. That's where I'm at. I'm still in step three. I'm almost done though, because I only have to do a few more things. Um, I don't want to get ahead of myself, so I'll just tell you more as I get to my presentation. Then you have to attend another workshop. I believe it's on Thursday, six p.m. to seven thirty p.m. You attend a NACA purchase workshop and find a home. So um, this is when you'll get your qualification letter and affordability form after you do that. Once I do that, because that's where I'm almost at. I started in March. See, I'm going, I'm getting ahead of myself because all this is on my presentation. So let me just be quiet. But after um, September, something for me, I'll be headed to complete credit access, submit the bank application. See, so once you have executed purchase and sales contract, provide updated documents to your mortgage counselor 
to be approved for market credit access. Oh, this is so exciting because I didn't even know this part. After approval, we will submit your bank application electronically to obtain NACA's Best in America mortgage. So I'm getting even more, what do they say, uber excited. Because once I attend that purchase workshop, I can go start shopping because I've been looking at homes. And just to uh, give you a little bit of what's going on with the market, uh, interest rates have gone up. They went up again last week. Don't let that dismay you. Don't let that stop you because NACA has an interest rate locked in. This is the advantage of this program. The advantage of this program is you get a, a lower interest rate. If your credit is a little shaky, you can still qualify because they go by rental payment, income, credit, and job history. So it's not just credit score 620 and up, credit score 700 and up. They don't do that. They do a four. They do. They they look at everything. Now, you're not going to come in there with a 420 credit score, 490, no money. You haven't been on your job for one month. Don't. They're not going to do scenarios like that. They want to see two years on the job. They want to see that you pay your rent every month. These are the things that get you not going to qualify. You do need money. You do need money. I have to emphasize that. It's, it's no money down on your house, but you need money for the um, taxes, for the mortgage insurance. You're going to have to do a home inspection. You'll always have to put earnest money down. Glasses are smudgy. I always have to put um, earnest money down. I'm in Illinois. I do believe most people put down $1,000 to $2,000. That's in the house range I'm buying, like under $300,000. Now, if you buy 400 through a million dollar home, I'm sure the earnest money is higher. I'm assuming. I don't know. Someone probably will have to tell me because I'm not sure about that. But anyway, any way, any you, these are the different steps. And then the last step is obtain lender approval and closing on your home. The lender will provide a, a status of your loan process, outstanding conditions through web file for which you need to respond immediately. Your mortgage counsel will work with you to address the loan conditions. A NACA closing coordinator will assist you with the closing. So this is exciting. I'm getting towards the end. I don't even know how to contain myself, you guys. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. I want to try to get to my presentation. All right, y'all. We ready to rock and roll. Naka. So if you are new to my channel, welcome aboard. Thank you, new subscribers. I want to shout out myself because I'm trending to 437. I'm sorry. Trending to 500. I'm at 437. Once I get to 500, I can put stuff in my community tab. I am a life coach. I am a therapist. I talk about relationships. I talk about Naka. I talk about health. Um, a cancer survivor. I have so much information that I want to share. And mostly I really try to talk about staying positive, staying upbeat in this crazy world we live in at times. So that community tab is going to allow a better platform for me to just post information without having to do a video. So I'm beyond excited about that community tab. But if you are interested, go right now to www.naka.com, sign up for a website. I hope I remember to do this. Um, oh, man, it was something else I kind of wanted to do. Oh, well, I'm already into my presentation. Let me keep it moving. Okay. The NACA process. These are the steps closer to buying my... I want a townhome because I don't want to shovel snow or cut grass. I don't have time. But they are still, uh, for me, nice. You know, you can get three bedrooms, two baths, two bedrooms, two baths. Some come with a nice um, you know, basement that's already, you know, finished. The washer dryer typically is in there. Um, you get a patio most of the time. I mean, it's everything I need. I work remote from home and I need my own office. I'm in a one bedroom and I feel like I'm on top of myself. And um, I don't like having my work, like jump into my house space. I, I, I just like keep stuff separate. So the new townhome will allow me to have my office. I took yoga yesterday. Yes, I had an ed class. Oh, I feel so good. 
um, I want to be able to have my little exercise, you know, stuff set up in a room. So that's why I want more space for me. Hey, holidays, maybe the family can come to my house for a change instead of bugging my sister all the time. So what do you want? A property, income property? Do you want um, a townhome like me, a condo, a home? Whatever it is, you can have it with NACA. So the NACA process steps to, you know, close, steps closer to buying my town home. And of course, I am Tammy C. Walker. That's me. I attended my first workshop, March 2020. Again, four-hour workshop, 360 participants. After that, they scheduled my appointment in April. So everything I did at the end of March, my appointment was at the end of April. And this is where she set up my file, my web file. And she's going to tell you everything that she needs or he. Bank statements, pay stubs, landlord information. Um, credit cards. We have 11 credit cards. You need to put up 11 statements per month. So um, when I go back in now, I have to make sure I have 90 days worth. You're, you'll see once you start. You just basically, if you start in March, you got to have March statement in there. By April, it should say March and April. Once you upload it, it's in there. Once you're in July, you know, you should have March, April, May, June, Maybe July if it's closed already in there. So you got to just keep uploading your bank statement. Keep uploading your pay stub. Keep uploading um, your credit card statement. You, I'm divorced 20 some years. I still need those papers. I have them, but we'll get into that later. Um, I had a name change because I am divorced and I need to drink some coffee. Um, so I had to prove that, you know, I had to just, say how my name should be on my credit report. I was late on, um, what was I late on? A car loan years ago. Had to explain why. I was late on a Capital One bill years ago. Have to explain why. Don't matter if it was years ago. I have to explain why. Um, you have to upload your student loan statements, not just a regular statement. You have, if you're income driven like me, that's how I'm paying back. They are very particular. Make sure you put it just like they want you to do. They're going to walk you through it. So that's the good thing. I met July because I just met where my um, lady, Tiffany, a week ago, almost last week. And we meet again in August. And so August, what we're going to go over is I have like five more things to do. And they're not bad. I'm getting, I'll keep on getting ahead of myself. I don't know how to just flow, do I? But once I meet with her, we'll meet again. I told her I'll have all my money in September, the middle of September. We're meeting again in September. And that's when we're going to go through bank statements. Just make sure all my bank stuff looks good. And I'm getting ready to get my stuff submitted. So that's where I'm at. If you all see typos, please forgive me. I'm sleepy, no spell check. So I was like, oh. So forgive me, you all. <laughs> okay, so once you meet with, let's just say you signed up for the workshop, you already, it's, it's, it's October, you did it in September, you're going to get an action plan from your counselor, excuse me. And then they're going to tell you all the things that they need for your next meeting. For me, that's why I was getting ahead of myself, student loan, I still have one more I need to get an income-driven statement. I have provided that, but it had zero. Tammy Walker pays zero per month. She needs to see what amount I'll be paying because this has to be factored into me getting that mortgage. Um, this should be low because it's income-driven, but it needs to be shown. So I did contact them. They're getting it together. I should have it in 10 days or less. Your bank statement, that's going to be an ongoing thing. My bank statements, Bank of America, close on I think the twentieth, so I can upload it after it does that. I have a Capital One checking account for my business side, so I have to upload that. I have a, I have two savings accounts. Don't think I have a lot of money here. I got all these accounts, but um, I have two savings accounts and two checking accounts. Just but they're my business and personal. Um, pay stubs. Make sure you keep up with that. If you if you're like me, I work part time. I do ten ninety nine. I had to upload 2021 20, and 2020, 1099. Credit card statements, just keep uploading them. 
with me, the way we did my action plan, she said pay off three credit cards. So Target, Kohl's, uh, they're on zero. And I have another major credit card I put on zero. No, I don't owe anything on those. So those statements need to show zero. You have to make sure you upload it correctly. I've been divorced since 1999. I don't know why we talk about this over and over. But they have to make sure you don't own property. When I went through my divorce, we had a home. We sold that home. We got divorced in September. I thought the home sold in December. It's very foggy. That's 20 some years ago. But we we did good with our house. We had bought this house for $72,000, a little small starter home. And my ex-husband is really good with um, renovating. So our home appreciated $30,000 in five years. Because we only had it for, yeah, five years. And we split the proceeds. I remember that. And it's a done deal. Don't matter. They want to see on the divorce papers that their house is free and clear. I have my, I had divorce papers. I threw them out. I've moved quite a bit over the last 20 years. I inadvertently threw them out by accident. And I got more. I, I went through a lot to get more papers and a certificate saying I am divorced. The papers are so dark. I don't even know who made these copies. So I really have to get some more copies. I contacted the city clerk of Chicago. And, oh, God, I know I'm in a point down there. And I may go to my ex-husband's attorney and see if he'll just give it to me. Because I, I need to find an attorney I have. But it seems, I don't know. Anyway, I don't care about that. You are divorced. Make sure you have your papers. And long story short, she said, when it's time for me to buy my home, they're going to do a deed um, trace anyway, and hopefully that shouldn't pop up my old house. It's, it's, it's gone. I mean, I get what they're doing. Anyhow, let me move on. Minimum required funds. That's very important. This is the money you're going to need um, before they even put their application in. You got to have that money in the bank. They want to see it. Minimum required funds are going to be your taxes, your homeowner's insurance, and prepaid mortgage insurance. You're also going to need a house inspection. Some people might have to get two inspections. Earnest money. If you see a house or a building or a townhome or condo you want, you give them, in my case, a $1,000 check or a $2,000 check and say, I am very, in I am not very, I'm, I am interested in this home. This money is, you know, my earnest money. It's my good faith showing that I want to buy this home. I'm serious. Here's my, I'm putting money down on this home. It's a down payment, small down payment. <sighs> okay. So we already talked about that. Payment shock. Let's say I pay $1,500 a month for rent, but I want to buy a home where I pay $1,700 for my mortgage. Every month, I need to put $200 in my savings account showing that I can afford the $1,700 mortgage. Um, yeah, that's what the shock payment is all about. So please pay your rent on time because they're going to be going through and making sure they see your rent. They look for my rent payment. Every time we do these sessions, she's checking. Well, not a few times she's checked, but she's definitely going to be checking next time. So make sure you pay your rent. And pay it all in one, you know, swoop. Don't don't go paying a part, one part here, one part there. Probably if you prepay it, it's okay. But just make sure you pay it because that's a big part of the NACA program, seeing that you are responsible. So I want to give you some tips to succeed. Excuse me as I drink some more coffee in the NACA program. First thing you want to do, please make sure that you do what your counselor tells you. You know, if they tell you get a document, do it. Um, I, you probably can't really see this. You know, I got my little fast drive. If I were you, I would get a little, you know, I'll take in the look case. See my little flash drive? This is where I keep all my documents. When we're on the Zoom doing our meeting, oh, by the way, those meetings could last two hours. So if you book, your meeting after the workshop allow for two, three, especially that first three hours because you're going to be going through all these papers and stuff. Allow time. Be patient. 
that I keep all my documents on a flash drive. And when she mentions something, I already know I did. I do my work because I want to get my house and I don't like not doing my work because you don't want the counselor to think you're not serious. So get you a flash drive and I have a folder of my papers, some papers, but most of my stuff is electronically filed. Keep it. So if they say, where's your target June statement, you can go right to your file and just upload it right there on the spot. It, it, it saves you from having more stuff on your action list. In the NACA program, the credit score is not the only factor. So if you have a 600 credit, credit score, I don't know about 590, but I, I do believe you still could possibly qualify. They don't look only at the credit score. They look at your rental payments, on the job, two years, your um, income, and your credit score, but the credit score is not the only factor. So don't be dismayed or discouraged if it's low. Still do the workshop. That's what I would advise. Number three, the best thing you can do is go to the workshop, then get your web file and counselor. They will tell you how far away you are from home ownership. So let's just say you have a credit score of 600. You've been on your job 17 months. Um, what else did I say? Rental payments you pay on time. Um, and your income is pretty decent. It's okay. Then they're going to talk to you and probably say, well, you only need, let's see the employment that you have got two years. I don't think that might, you might be okay. No, no, no. I think you'll be okay with your employment. So this is why you need to go to these workshops and talk to a counselor because that could tell you how far you are away from it. People get discouraged because they think that they could go buy a house today. Don't you want to pre-plan anyway? If that's one of your goals, start now. That way you'll know where you need to go. I want to open my own therapy practice. I do not have my clinical license yet, but I talked to a lady that has her own therapy practice. She gave me step by step how to start this practice so when i'm ready i know what to do i just i know for one i got to get that clinical license and i know the other things i need to put in place this is the same with a, buying a house if you're not quite ready get ready so the best way to be is proactive don't think like i can afford a house no need for me to go to this workshop now go that's going to give you your foundation of what you need it's not always, you know, wake up, I'm buying a house. You know, I have $5,000, I'm going to go buy a house. Maybe you better get some more stuff together. Keep a folder, I already told you all that, a physical folder, which I have, and then that flash drive. And you can't go wrong during your, um, you know, NACA meeting. These are some very important tips. Be gracious to yourself, be very patient. It's been a couple of times I've been sitting in the meeting, I'm like, do I really want to do this? Or maybe I should just go straight to Bank of America myself. But I'm glad that I uh, didn't do that and I, I'm sticking it out. Stay positive. Even if it look like you got to get all these documents, just, just keep thinking about your house, your property. Ask a relative for money if you are blessed to. I'm serious because what if you need like, you know, $7,000 and you have 4000 Maybe your sister we'll give you the extra thousand. Maybe your uncle will give you this money. You know, uh, just ask. You're not supposed to borrow money from people during this process. Now, are they going to know that? I'm not trying to be deceitful, but I'm just keeping it real. If somebody gives you $2,000 and you have to pay them back, you know, after you close, what, whose business is that? They loan, they borrow, they gifted you the money. I'm not telling you to lie. I'm just saying, you know, we're not, you know, people, they be talking stuff. This is the real world with inflation. Gas prices are high. People's salary is not keeping up with, you know, what's happening now. But they expect for you to have like ten, fifteen, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 sitting around. And some people just don't have it if they're trying to survive. So you know what to do. Hello. Hello. Remove that Experian boost. That is looking like that. I had Hulu, Netflix, AT&T, DirecTV, my electricity, 
my cell phone bill all on Experian Boost. It was looking like that. So she had me go in and take that off. You can put it back on after you close, but for right now, get that Experian Boost, get those accounts off. You have to show that you removed it because it's going to say this account has been deleted. I had to upload it, show her that. That might be all I have, y'all. Let me see. Yes, thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, drop it in the comment area. I do. Let's see if I can get out of here. I want to go back to, oh, man. Yep. That's what I wanted to go back to. Okay. Perfect. I think I want to show you all two things. No down payment, no closing costs, no fees, below market. Look at the rate. Although they keep shooting the interest rate up, if you're with NACA, 4.375 will be your fixed APR. And 15, that's for 30 years. 15 year is even lower, 3.375. Now, if your income is higher, you will pay more. Um, you're going to pay... Yeah, you're going to pay 5.375 for the 30-year and 4.3 for the 15-year. Um, I'm not in that higher income. She, told me, she did warn me, though, because I got a job. I had a big raise for my last job. They brought us up. We were grossly underpaid. They brought us up to code. And then, um, sorry, something's going on. Oh, okay. And then I got a new job. And now I got a raise. So I I had two big raises. Thank you, God. Lord Jesus, I needed it. But she told me, she said, don't you make no more money because if I make more than this certain amount, she mentioned, it's going to, it won't mess me up with NACA. It limits where you can buy property. I think somebody mentioned that in my comments before. So in certain, I don't know. If you go over a certain amount, it's, it's probably like over maybe... I don't want to tell my income, whatever. I'm going to say over 70000 If you make over 70000 or more, it's, a, it's more than seventy. Closer to whatever you are. <laughs> if you make probably over $90,000, there's a possibility you're going to be limited where you can buy. Me, I can buy it's a lot of suburbs I'm looking at in, outside of Chicago. So I can buy it anywhere. I'm not limited. But if she told me if I make some more money, she gave me a number. She was like, don't make no more than this because you're going to be limited to where you can buy. I don't want that. I want to be able to buy freely because where I live, the property is affordable. And I picked out like nine suburbs where I, they all like right in the same little area where I can buy. So I want to have that option instead of having to go far out. I really don't want to go far out. I'm already kind of out and I don't want to go be driving. We have bad winters, so that's just not ideal for me. I think I want to show you one more thing. Oh god. Oh, I don't know if I can get to it, you all. Mm -hmm. hmm. Bear with me here. I think it's right here. Man, I can't find what I'm looking for. That's crazy. Maybe it's here. Yes. Okay. This is for my Texas viewers. They have something going on. You all got to look into it. Go to www.naka.com. This is a big Achieve the Dream workshop. There's something going on. August 4th through the 7th. Who should attend? Home buyers qualify for NACA's best mortgage, a homeowner, this assistance to prevent foreclosure. And if you're renting, assistance to prevent evictions. Check it out, Houston, Texas people. Um, I want to make sure I put that up there. All righty, you guys. I think that's all I got. Um, I hope you all was able to see. Everything now I'm getting paranoid that you were not, but I hope you were, <laughs> please. And I'm gonna get on out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you and all the best to you with um buying your property. I gotta get out of here. Okay, you all take care. Bye bye. God bless.